I thought I would show you some of the different viewing modes here within Parallels Desktop for the Mac. The one that you're seeing right now is Window Mode, where the Windows Desktop appears within this, this window. Um, you have some other options at the bottom for things like you know, Suspend, Pause, Shut Down and Stop the Virtual Machine, along with another one over here to switch to the different view modes. However, the, the way that I normally do it is to go up to the View menu here. Window is the one that we see at the moment, as you know. Full screen, where the, the Windows desktop takes up the whole screen until you switch back to the Mac. And the other three are Modality, Coherence, and Crystal, which share a lot of common properties. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one and cover the, the, you know, the, the different options that you see appearing in there. So I'm going to click on Crystal. It'll just take a second. And the first thing that happens, because I haven't done it before on this machine, this little window appears that says, little warning panel that says the Windows Applications folder is being added to the dock. Now what does that mean? Well, let's just click OK and make that go away. And uh, let's go down to the, you know, the Mac desktop dock that you see down here. And what it's done is added this icon. And I'll get to that in a second. Each time you switch modes, this little dialog pops up here to tell you you know where to look for each of the different things so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit the X there and I'll cover the different options on this one so the first thing it does like I say is it adds this little icon down here to your dock and what you can do is if you just click on there it actually gives you all of the installed Windows applications for that particular virtual machine so that's nice um, you can also click on the parallels icon over here and what that's going to do is it's going to give you the Windows Start bar, the, the Start panel. And the same thing up here, the other icon that it's added is this little Parallels icon here. And if I just left click, it'll give me options to get to the Windows Start menu, along with a list of devices, and to exit Crystal mode, and it'll take me back to that windowed mode that you saw. And of course I can quit Parallels Desktop as well. Now the other one is if I right click on this icon, it actually will give me access to the Windows Start Bar there as well. So, you know, what you can see down here, of course, is the Windows Start Bar as well. We know if that's down there. Um, the other thing to note that's kind of useful is up here, if you look in sort of the system tray area, it's actually blended together the Windows and the Mac system tray icons. So these little white ones are the Windows ones. I can check, you know, the power settings. I can also set the volume for the, the Windows virtual machine. So they're nicely integrated up there. So what do we do now about our applications? We don't have a Windows desktop anymore. Well, that's fine. What we'll do is I'm actually going to go down here, click on the Parallels desktop, and I'm just going to run Notepad here. Just click on there. And you can see what happens is the Windows application actually appears on our desktop here as a standard application. You're not seeing the Windows desktop anymore. So this is kind of nice if you want to see a Windows application, you know, a little more integrated into your system and have access to your Mac applications as well. And of course, if you know, the standard Windows apply, so you can go File and Exit, or I can just click on the little red X there to close that. So that's Crystal mode. I'm going to left click and choose Exit Crystal and that's going to take me back to the standard windowed version mode that I have here. Um, one other little thing, I'm going to go up to this coherence mode. Now before I do that actually there's a little option here I want to talk about. If you don't want to see the window Chrome, the Windows Chrome, you'd actually rather have them look like a Mac application, you can click on this little use Mac look and what that does is it simply replaces the Windows Chrome like the red X and that kind of thing with the Macintosh version. So I'm not actually going to show you to you, but that's essentially what that does. So it just swaps out the Windows Chrome, the Windows look for the Mac look. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to coherence mode. And as you can see, in coherence mode, it makes the Windows integrated with your Mac and you have, let's just click that to make that go away there. So you have again down here, you know, you see it's got this little window and parallels icon with the start bar. Plus, of course, you know, we have from before our applications listed over there. And I'll just click on the desktop to make that go away. But notice we don't have that icon up here. But we do have the system tray icons. So that's a nice little mode if you need to use that. Essentially, all these modes are a nice way to access Windows applications and 
Mac applications at the same time without having the Windows desktop. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm just going to click on the start by here. Just to show you again, we'll go up to Notepad, and as you can see, you know it's a it's a it's the Windows application right there. Um, you know, if I want to run a Mac application, you know, I can just bring up the Finder there, so you can see that we now we have the Finder, and here's a Windows application. So that's how that works. I just click the red X to make that close. Notice too that whilst this virtual machine is running, we actually have an icon on the Mac desktop. If I double click on there, that is the the drive that the, what would be the C drive in this case in Windows. So you can access files that way. That's a nice little touch.